Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm just going to show you guys really quickly how a botnet actually works because I'm doing a sliver series right now, which is a command and control series that shows you how red teamers, pen testers, and attackers actually use these types of things and how if you ever think you're part of a botnet, how you can actually kind of check. So first thing first is you have to have a C2 or command and control, which is your controller that controls all the bots, right? So what happens is they compromise one of your machines. It could be a laptop. It could be a smart fridge. It can be a home PC, a phone, whatever it is. They can com they compromise it. That machine then calls back usually to a fake website. Now, the, f the website itself will look legitimate if you go to it, but there's certain conditions if it meets, which the payload that they offer here in the compromise host will present, and it will redirect them to their controller, to their C2. The reason this is really valuable is a lot of times IoT devices are vulnerable to this, and what ends up happening is they have callouts to websites that really don't make any sense. So if you do a quick packet capture on your network, especially a home network, if you feel that you have IoT devices that might be compromised, they should not be calling out to certain um, websites. You would know this pretty quickly if it's not a website actually associated with the vendor. But then on top of that, one thing you want to look for is you're looking for patterns. The one thing that C2 controllers have to do is they have to have these bots check in on occasion and they have to do that because they won't know if the bot is still active or not when they get ready to launch the attack. So then once they have all the bots they need and they're all checking in regularly, they would then say, hey, if I want to do a DDoS, for instance, a distributed denial of service, they would tell all of these bots at the same time from the controller to go ahead and attack, right? And in this case, it's just going to be send a bunch of requests to a certain website or whatever. And there'll be so many uh, requests that it will overload the server and cause it to crash. So that's how botnets work, guys, in a very, very quick uh, phase. Check out the Sliver series that I'm doing that's attached to this, and you'll be able to see kind of in depth how uh, um, red team engagers and pen testers and things use this to also test your environment and make sure that you're not susceptible to this type of attack. Thanks, guys.